This is a song by Eddie Allen, and it's uh, about remembering old times uh, by a gentleman who he uh, sat down and drank beer with on many an occasion in the afternoon in Trimplow, Wisconsin. And he'd worked on the lumber rafts, which uh, pushed all the all the forest of the North Country down the rivers come springtime, and uh, they'd get them all together and they'd uh, put them, you know, in the big lumber rafts, which were huge things, just incredibly large by comparison to even the towboating today. But uh, just incredibly large. They'd have a steamboat up on the, the the front of the the raft, and one at the back shoving, and the one on the front would be either going a forward or a stern to help the swing the uh, end of the uh, lumber raft around bends and stuff. So it's called bow boating, and we still use all the same terminology today that they used back then. It's all where it all came from. So uh, this is about an old gentleman who worked on the lumber rafts and. Uh, it was only a short time, like in 1915, the very last uh, raft of lumber went past Trimplow, Wisconsin. There was a brewery there, it was Melquire Brewery. Jacob Melquire was the proprietor. He weighed allegedly over 450 pounds and he could, he could lift uh, barrels of his own beer and carry them. And his wife was also a very large woman, almost as big as he was, uh, lived there and that beer went up and down the river with the logging rafts, the lumber rafts. But when that quit, so did they, and, and uh, it's now it's just a ramshackle kind of a shell of a, of a building still. But the Triple Hotel's still there. It's very different now than when Eddie wrote the song, but the song's called Triple Hotel. Tall, your face is tan and whiskered. There's a twin. 
twinkle in your eye, that love still rises in your throat whenever that Julia Bell swing runs by. But all that's left is Trampolo Hotel and the Mel Park Brewery. It is an empty shell. Old men drink and play in euchre, but in your heart you dwell in your days out on the river on the old Ottumwa. Fridays and a well-done T-bone steak. Likes a red dress and a pearly white teeth and a flash of pretty brown legs. Said back in the 30s, no, you never had him made. He's an engineer over on the Ohio River. He's running in the Pittsburgh trade with the inspection office in Louisville at desk for a very short time. And he played in a band on two different boats, working in the Stratford line. And long ago, he smoked reefer and he. Say he's old fashioned, but that ain't no big deal. Well, it's too thick to navigate, it's too thin to plow. So let him go on, mama. Don't put him down for it now. It says doesn't miss it at all, but he still goes out and he makes a few trips in the summer and in the fall. All the railroad trains, bus and planes are taking up all the slack. He's been watching all those river towns just slowly turn their backs. He's just a fellow worked on the river all his life by the paddle wheel. You say he's old fashioned, but that ain't no big deal. Well, it's too thick to navigate, it's too thin to fly. This song is another Eddie Allen song, and this song talks about several things. And one of them is uh, the fact that guys on the out on steamboat and stuff are gone a lot. And uh, it's funny, I haven't been out here on boats all a long time. I see see the same thing. You you, you get out on the boat, and, and about halfway through your hitch, you know, in 30 days, you're really wanting to be home. And all you can talk about is being home, and how much you miss home, and everything else, and all the trials and tribulations of that. But then when you get home it doesn't take too long before you just can't wait to get back to the boat. So uh, this is like the fantasy song about what if it could all be all together. And it's uh, key of D and it's pretty simple. It's called Steamboat Lover. <laughs> well I got Mississippi River water flowing in my veins. Got a big old pad of wheel that's going around inside my brains. Got a heart that's filled with steamboat dreams. They probably won't come true if I am stuck here on the ground. Cause I am so stuck on you And if you were a lady steamboat I'd be your man the crew I'd polish up your old brass knobs Make your toes up too I'd wash the floors and make the beds I'd be your best friend And we'd make love at night And folks could watch us come around the bend <laughs> If you'll be my steamboat lover I'll be your deckhand true out on me too. Would you wait for me at number six and smile when we lock through? Knowing I'd be home in 30 days with dirty clothes to do and a pocket full of steamboat pay in 30 days for you. This crazy passion for 
for the steamboat life, God knows I can't explain. But you promised that you'd be my wife, so love me, don't complain. If the Mississippi snatches me, cause it's really what attaches me, from Natchez up to Muscatine and home to you again. You'll be my steamboat lover, I'll be your deckhand true, and we'll ride on down the river, out onto the ocean blue. The moon will be our searchlight and the stars will be our crew, and we'll couple up before I pull out in the morning dew. Yes, we'll couple up before I pull out in the morning dew. He spied old Billy gambling and they went down to play. They gambled mighty early and they gambled mighty late. The stagger lead through seven billion, swore then he threw eight. Well now come all you good people, what do you think about that? Well now stagger lead killed Billy, it was over Stetson Hat. Down in New Orleans in a place called Lions Club. I say every step you're stepping brothers in Billy the Lions blood. I'll pick it. It'll never heal. Let's see. Well, the sheriff said to the deputies, Oh, bring him back alive. How the hell can we bring him in when he took a big 45? Well, the deputies took the pistols and they laid him up on the shelf. Said, if you want Miss Stagger Lee, you gotta get him all by yourself. Well, now Stagger Lee went walking down the great northern track. He walked so fast and he walked so far, he never did come on back. Stagger Lee took to the devil and the very words he said were devil. Uh, up the word so we got 